Hello, this is Kyle from Midnight Paranormal Files podcast. Uh, today we are going to be talking about Holy Cross Road. I've been to this road, actually. It's up in Byfield, Wisconsin. And this is like a two-part type of thing kind of deal. Like, what I mean by that, like, not two parts because I can't make two parts out of this road. But uh, what I mean by that is there is cryptids that have been sighted on this road, and it's also haunted. Now, uh, and also, there used to be a town that used to be on this road, which is gone now. So, yeah. Uh, Fivefield is in a t- is up in northern Wisconsin. And according to a legend, a woman in a a woman and her kids, that's one of the stories. The other story is that she was with her husband. Uh their car stopped at the where the railroad tracks are on this road or whatever. And next thing you know, they their vehicle got hit by a train. And they all died. Uh, another story is that what well, that's one of the stories is that it was her and her husband. Another one was her and her kids. Uh, I don't know for a fact, but the town name is called. Hold on here. I think it's. I forgot what it was called. Um, but I'll find it eventually. Okay, the town is called Coolidge, Wisconsin. And, uh, it was probably a logging town. I'm guessing on top of my head. I'm not sure. But I know this state is really well known for logging. And we cut down, like, three quarters of the trees in the state. At one point, what like a lot of trees, and that was back in the 1800s, sometime. Okay, back to what we were talking about. Uh, now it said that if visitors at Holy Cross Road park their car in neutral over the tracks, the spear of a woman would push their car to safety uphill. Which is pretty strange. Maybe it's a gravity hill. Who knows? Um, in addition, there have been reported sightings of gnomes around the area. May say that if you throw rocks at the gnomes, they will throw it back. I tried it. I didn't gain uh, rocks thrown back. Uh, and it's a mill ghost town called Coolidge where the townspeople mysteriously disappeared. So I don't know what happened to the town of Coolidge. So, yeah, there was a town here. Uh, People have died here from a train crap, train hitting their car. Um, And they say that her ghost or whatever, ghostly woman appears over a lake near railroad tracks where she was killed by a train. She is said to be protected, protecting everyone who comes near, which we just talked about. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this. Five Field, which I talked about, Holy Cross Road, the old railroad tracks that cut through the road are thought to be haunted by a woman and her children. The legend states that years ago, the family was coming home when the mother decided to try to to beat the train across the tracks, a decision that ended up killing her and her children. Now, those who put their vehicle neutral will have their car push uphill over the tracks, but the spirits of those kids do not want to you to suffer their fate. It's also said that if you pick up a rock by the tracks and throw it 
it into the woods. The rock will be thrown right back at you by little gnomes that reside the, in the woods. Many have claimed that the little people will curse you with bad luck and misfortune if you throw that rock. You have been warned. So, yeah, th there's not much to talk about this road besides that has gnomes, haunted, and a uh, ghost town. Now, Chad Lewis, he's been here, too, on Unexplained. That'll be down in the description. All the sources will be down below. Uh, yeah, she was. She died back in the 1960s or 70s. I'm not sure. Um, back in the 1900s, there used to be a town. So that's about the time that they had the town. Um, let's see what else. Okay. Uh, so this is some more of this stuff from unexplained research. Is that uh, those children have been seen playing out in the field near the tracks also. Uh, cold spots have been experienced even on 90 degree days. Mysterious lights have been observed moving through the nearby woods. Uh, and this is what they have for their investigation. Holy Cross is a road that turns off of Highway 13 between Phillips and Byfield. The water is a small pond near Atchel Railroad tracks. No woman was spotted during our investigation. We did speak with a young kid from the area who stated that many area teenagers would go stand on the tracks and feel energy rushing through them. That's all they have for that. Um, when I was there, we had a little more stuff going on. Like we had, uh, we had a couple EVPs. We also got a couple hits with our emf reader it spiked a few times uh and i could play some of the stuff on my recording now this is one of the evps that i caught it says it said what do you want and here it is And that's one of the recordings I got from Holy Cross Road, which is very strange. Uh, I do have an R one. Okay, this is uh, an R one. This one is me thanking them for talking to me after the fact. And here we go. I'm back. I just want to say thank you for talking to me. It basically said, uh, you're welcome to me when I did that. Now, I did also use a temperature gun for uh, that investigation. I did not get any cold spots or hot spots or anything like that, really. Uh, the EVP went off a few times, but it wasn't too crazy. Uh, but that was the best evidence I got was the voice recorder right here that's in my hand at the moment but yeah i know this is a more short episode of this but i figured to t at least talk about it and mention about it a little bit it's not that crazy of a place but it's a neat area if you ever been to holy cross road you'll understand a little more better but I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Uh, uh, leave a like, review, comment, whatever you, what you got to do. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.